Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings and a happy new year to you. This is 2018 and I was just playing Earth and Sun healing pipes because already on the 2nd of January and of course you're looking at the first week of January starting on January 1st to the 7th and on January 2nd we have the first full moon uh, of the new year and it just so happens that on the 2nd of January we are 3 million miles closer to the Sun than we usually are and the Sun is such a life giver so um, already the, star, the, the, the year starts with, with something to be grateful for which is awesome. Also, 2018, the numbers 2, 1 and 8 become 11. 11 is a master number, which means the energy of the new year will be much higher um, overall and hopefully throughout than it was or it has been in 2017. So there's loads of stuff to look forward to. Um, the mantra for 2018, my mantra at least, is 2018 is my year. 2018 is my year year and I invite you to say it out loud 2018 is my year 2018 is my year I even made a little bumper sticker that goes on top on my uh, of my uh, diary so I can see it every single morning every day I go like oh 2018 is my year 2018 is my year so it's good um, in a way I'm not a big fan of, of New Year's resolutions but I'm a big fan of energy and um, it's great that we have a master number year, high energy, and it's great that we start the year with being so close to, to the sun, which is just awesome. Anyway, um, I also wanted to look a little bit festive because it is the new year and we're just starting out. And I'm wearing a, um, a pink shirt uh, because pink is the first color we actually remember in the womb. So it's a really good color right at the beginning of the new year to reconnect to who we truly are as a person. And then um, it's about finding ourselves uh, right from the get-go. Maybe letting go of stuff that didn't quite work in, in the previous year. And um, so I always combine a little bit of stuff like color therapy and sound therapy and all these things. Uh, it's always good to have a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a toolbox um, to use um, for your growth. right? And now we have a little look at um, the overall energy before we go into the individual star signs. So, yeah, again, welcome to 2018. Yep, let's have a look what the overall energy of the week ahead um, is telling us for the new year. Like I said, this is 2018 and we're looking for the week or at the week of, the, of um, January the 1st through to January the 7th. And as I mentioned earlier, we have a full moon already on the 2nd. Absolutely awesome. So, um... Like always, it's a new year, so there will be new beginnings, so we have to wait and see now to see what the overall energy of the week is telling us. Um, let's just have a look. Not bad, not bad. We have the hummingbird and the golden eagle. And the hummingbird denotes that no matter how difficult the new beginning is or you feel um, it could be um, the hummingbird is one of the few birds it can work on any tree no matter how crooked it is so the first message for the new year is you will manage you will be just fine you also have the golden eagle which is an animal that sees its prey uh, from a mile away so you will easily when you're in your calmness see things coming and what that also means is not just that you see things coming, but you will be able to reflect on situations and the people in your life and see, oh, this is where I'm going here. So the new year starts with a bit of clarity, which is a very nice thing um, to have. So the overall energy for this week is that you will be just fine. Don't go into panic mode. Uh, um, you don't have to continue living your life the same way you lived in 2017, right? So this is a year, this is a week where you gain strength also because we are um, so close to the sun, which is uh, an, an, an element of transformation and is an element of growth and warmth, obviously. Um, 
it's absolutely awesome because there will be a lot of support. Um, it would be uh, really, really good for all you spiritual people out there um, to take the, 20, the 2nd of uh, January, take that day and go into the woods and um, if it's not too cold, and even if it is, you know, just dress up nicely, you know, wrap up well, <laughs> so to speak, and, and manifest and drum and hug trees and really reconnect with nature, um, start the year with manifesting um, what you really feel you deserve. It's really, really important. So it's a really, really good week, right, uh, to do all this. And I'm going to have a little tea now, and then we go into the individual star signs. See you in a bit. Nettle tea it is. Really lovely. And now we're going into the <clears throat> uh, individual energy, uh, or the individual star signs, uh, for our first week in January, starting with Sagittarius. Let's see what comes up for you guys first week of the new year. So, a little bit, it goes into the uh, overall energy that we just talked about, which means the overall energy of the week will aid you on your journey already, because you too have the bald eagle. Uh, but you also have the osprey, so you have two birds. Every time you have birds, it means see things from a higher point of view. So that's your first task for the week, Sagittarius people. See things from a higher point of view. Don't get bucked down. Don't sweat the small stuff, so to speak. Right? Uh, rise above stuff. See things from a much higher point of view. Be in your strength, be in your calmness. Both the osprey and the bald eagle are birds of prey. So um, you are definitely strong. Nobody necessarily is going to mess with you because you got this. Really, really important. And also you have the osprey, which denotes progress. So already you have made progress. And this year with the higher energy of 2018 um, is a good year to just go forward. And, and also uh, because you have uh, um, two birds of prey, this is a good week for you to be really bold and to um, trust yourself and, and make decisions. The, the, both, the, both birds that I have here, osprey and bald eagle, um, are birds of prey. They have to, like all animals, have to compete for their food. They have to be, um, well, ingenious oftentimes to get it. And all these deities here, these animal guides, are your guides for that week. So you too, will will find ways um, for change. So you don't really have anything to worry about, but you have to trust that you can do this. Okay? That was Sagittarius. Going into Capricorn now. Let's see what we got for Capricorn. Capricorn, this week, you have the Red Fox and the Barn Owl. So you are old souls, you have been around for a long time. You have to start the year slowly. You have to start the year slowly and feel what's going on around you. Listen to what's been said around you. Make sure you and yours are heard and make sure yours and yours are being paid attention to. Um, really, really important that this is a week for you to to look at the people you are, you are, you live with. Actually, um, that everything is fine. Should you live on your own, uh, um, probably slightly easier then because then you only have to look after yourself. But the the main message here is to make sure that you got enough space uh, all week, and also don't let anyone invade your space this week. But the main message for you this week for Capricorn this week is to start the week slowly. I just say this, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a picture, so to speak. In, we're starting the week on the 1st of um, January. And if you are one of those people that have to go back to work on the, on the 2nd and, or, or maybe have to work all the way now for, for quite a while, that's not the best move. If you have some days off still, take them this week. Would be good. You know, you can still go to work a little later. Because your message is to um, raise your vibrations as the week progresses. Okie dokie, that was Capricorn going into Aquarius.
Good. For Aquarius, you have the white-tailed deer and the gray squirrel. So your year starts out with you being quite safe um, in your approach to new beginnings, um, to the new energy that is around us. So you are quite protected. Also, even though the year is just starting out, um, it's important for you right now, first week of January, to pay attention to your ideas. Um, if you have new ideas, if you have new thoughts about stuff, that's all little messages where you go like, okay, this feels different to me. I feel this is going this way. And then assess if your um, assessment <laughs> is actually correct. But it's important already to stop a little bit, pay attention to your thoughts, speak your truth, and make new things happen. Really, really important. And remember, this is all about intuition. Your intuition, your gut feeling will never lie to you. You will be just fine, provided you pay attention to how you truly feel. So go inward this week. It's important to go inward in the very first week of, of January of the new year. And remember, because you have an animal with antlers, the white-tailed deer, you are protected. Uh, your guides are around you. You can speak your truth and you cannot fail. Okay, okay. That was Aquarius going into Pisces. Let's see what we got for Pisces. We have the Great Horned Owl and the Canada Goose. So for, for Pisces, for us Pisces, because I'm a Pisces too, um, we can't rush anything. Um, should there be some rest pain from the last year, um, the uh, great horned owl sort of denotes, and, and certainly the Canada goose denotes that we need to have a little patient, patience with ourselves um, and grow a little and little by little. So this is not a week for us to really make huge decisions, sort of start over. We have to take things much slower, right? But what we have got on our side is our intuition and the inner wisdom that we have survived 100% of our worst days and that new things really are just around the corner. So again, with the, with the full moon on the uh, 2nd of January, a good uh, a start of the week to actually drum, uh, uh, be in nature, use a pendulum, manifest. Manifest a new beginning, but don't expect it this week. Okie doke. All right. That was us Pisces going into Aries. Unlike us Pisces, Aries can go full steam ahead <laughs> in the new year. Like I said, first week of January. You have the rabbit and the opossum. So your job really is to have a look and realize that you have no idea how deep the rabbit hole really goes and how, really, how, really, how deep the rabbit hole really is. So it's time for you to explore new beginnings, to go... A new path is probably too much, but um, allow yourself to deviate from ideas and from patterns that you have created and allow yourself to trust new beginnings. Go for stuff that you probably haven't done before. You will be just fine. Um, so that's uh, important for Aries this week to, to, to realize it's not, not good enough anymore to um, hang back and wait for things to come to you that can then, in, that then invite you to make decisions. So, you, so you, where, where, what I'm saying is you, normally you, you can be quite reactive. Here you have to be proactive and just trust that the new beginning is in the process of manifesting. And it's important that you uh, do your part to manifest it. And remember, because you have the opossum here, um, you know exactly what's right and wrong. You know exactly who isn't quite on your side. You know who lies to you. But it is important this week to realize if you allow people to walk all over you, if you allow people to talk down on you, at the end of the day, that's on you. And it's important for you to say, I'm not going to take this anymore and I will make changes and then manifest them and say like, thanks for the new changes. I always manifest the same way. I always 
talk to my guys as if it had already happened. So I don't say, oh, I would like to have this, you know, I would like to have this. I go like, thank you for A, B and C, for instance, um, as if it had already happened. And it's very easy if you just say thank you for a new beginning because I truly deserve it. You're halfway there. Okay? All right, then. The Aries, that was that. Going into Tauruses. One card fell out. Tauruses this week. Also important for Tauruses not to be rushed this week. You are not ready yet for a full new beginning. You're also still going through stuff that hasn't quite worked itself out of your system. A little bit like the Pisces, as Pisces, where there's still stuff that hasn't quite been released. Um, and you've got the same thing, uh, uh, at least partly, because you have the wood duck um, and all. Uh, so the idea is, is that you have to be waterproof first before you can truly go on, so you need to have a little bit of patience. But you also have the horse. And remember, the horse has always been, has always been, and is a very, very spiritual, sentient being. That it is awesome to be around horses. Um, so um, one way to um, let things go to, the, to uh, this week could actually be by being in nature, finding horses that you can be around. Uh, and if not, remember your your animal guide this week, or one of your animal guides this week, is the horse. And what that means is this week you need a little bit, of, little bit of freedom. So it's important because it's the first week of January to not think, oh, you know, I have a new um, resolution and I have to get going. This is not the time to stick to resolutions. This is the time to say, I allow myself a new beginning, but I pace myself right. Really, really important. Okie doke. That was Tauruses going into Gemini. For Gemini, it is important in the very first week of January to remember that you adapt very well to situations. And there are still people in your life um, that don't quite understand you, that don't necessarily get you. And this is not a week to fight them. This is also not a week to um, oppose them as such and, uh, and, and tell them where to go kind of thing. You know, This is a week to realize that you have to start the year off gentle and you you can adapt very well to situations so in other words this week you will be able to adapt to new beginnings you will also be uh, uh, very very likely very able and capable to adapting to changes in the workplace in love relationships at home um, and remember that um, even though you should always speak your truth, don't argue with people. If they don't get you, all you really can do is to reflect whether or not you want to have them in your life still or maybe manifest people that get you and love you for who you are. But fighting them this week is not going to end well in a way uh, because you need to pace yourself. So um, you already noticed, uh, having been through half the star signs already, um, Adaptation, pacing yourself right, um, has been one of the themes that many star signs have to go through. And it's interesting because this is the first week of January. And I believe personally what people oftentimes do wrong is that they, um, they, they end the year and oftentimes it is, it is, it is ended with uh, you know, overeating around Christmas and, <laughs> and, and New Year's Eve and stuff. And um, so people have all these New Year's, New Year resolutions. Reality is, you can decide at any given moment to change your life. You don't have to have fixed dates where the whole world goes like, no, I'm going to lose my five kilos that I ate over Christmas. That's not what this is about at all. But um, in uh, Gemini's case, um, really important to um, pace yourself right this week. Okie doke. That was Gemini going into Cancer. Cancerians. You have the screech owl and the mouse. It is really time to, for you to speak your truth. And I wouldn't necessarily go as far as saying you have to fight people, but you have to be much more clear 
in uh, claiming your rights, you have much you have to be much more um, well more firm um, in claiming what is yours this week. And you have the mouse, and the mouse is the animal that is the rodent that is not scared of heights. So use these situations exactly the way they are. You know who's trying to play you, who know who lies to you, who you know who is um, playing you, really. And this is the week. I know it's the first week of January, so nobody wants to start the year with trouble. But if situations come to you that make you feel less appreciated, less unwanted, or in a state of having to beg for your rights, um, don't do it. Don't follow an old pattern where you where you try to keep the peace because at the end of the day it's not going to work. You need to fight for your rights and this is a week for you to speak your truth a little bit more firm um, and you will just be fine. Okay? There was the Cancerians going into Leo. And Cancerians, please remember, it's, it's an 11 year, it's a master number year. The energy of the year is much higher than last year. And like I said earlier, we are much closer to the sun. We have a full moon on the 2nd. This is a really good week for you to speak your truth because the energy of the planet is in your corner. Really, really good. So, that was Cancerians finally going into Leo. We have the brown bear and the wolverine. So for you Leos, it's important to start the year calmly, be in your softness, um, highlight the nurturing side of you, highlight the, the, the side to you that has understanding and compassion and empathy. Um, that's the first order of business this year. To, to be um, compassionate. You have made a lot of progress because you have the wolverine, which is another animal that, 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 that denotes, denotes progress. Um, and it's interesting because the, um, the, the, the wolverine has a really um, keen sense of, of smell, which is the first sense that comes to us. So it means that you are an old soul. You are really an old soul. You have been through all sorts of changes and are still here. So be in your nurturing side, be in your calmness. Um, they're not asking you to let people get away with stuff. That's not what this says at all. It just means that fighting people, um, being aggressive with people, being too forceful with people, none of this is going to work this week. So it is much easier for you to, to, to understand that, and you know, it's so true, you don't know the people, even if you know people very well. Um, everybody fights their own battles, and maybe people are going through stuff because the new year, every time you have a new year, it's difficult for people to find themselves because they're reminded it's, it's a new year. Shouldn't my life be different? So we're all a little lost, if that makes sense. So what is needed from you Leos this week is a little bit of... Um, distance, a little bit of kindness, empathy and nurturing and um, not arguing. Okie doke, that's Leo going into Virgo. For Virgos this week, very first week of January 2018, Yay. <laughs> for Virgos this, this week all you need to remember is how strong you are. Remember your inner strengths. Remember how your opinions are usually sound. Your advice is sound. So this week you can be a leader. But things will come to you this week. Try not to chase anything. If there is unfinished business, it can easily wait for another week before you approach it and change it. It's important this week to be in your leader mode and, 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 and be in your strengths. But also, uh, remember, a lot of leaders, um, you know, hand, hand down stuff for, for other people to do. And um, even though it's not a direct analogy, what is important for you is, is to probably delegate um, a few things and get stuff off your back so you have time to breathe this week, right? So that's all I got for Virgo going into Libra. Our second last um, star sign for the very week, very first week of January. Hey, 
Awesome. Libras. Nothing to worry about in the new in the new year, in the new week, the very first week of January, because you have the big horn sheep and the frog. So you will just be fine. You will not slip. Uh, uh, things will not escalate to a point where you really have no control over it anymore. You will just be fine. The big horn sheep is an animal that hangs on two legs on a cliff and doesn't fall. It comes up quite a lot. Uh, has come up quite a lot last year for different star signs and I quite like that because it is a very strong uh, reminder that when you pay attention to where you're going you get there safely. Really, really important. Then you have the frog which is an amphibian. It can live on land and, in, and on water. And um, so you will just be fine. You can adapt. You Whatever life throws at you uh, uh, right now, you will just be fine. One exercise that I often do is when, when a frog comes to me, because these animal guides are all around you. Um, and if a frog comes to me, I just close my eyes and I usually touch my, my heart chakra, simply because most frogs are green and the heart chakra is green, you know, the color of the heart chakra is green. So I touch, I touch my heart, my heart chakra, and oftentimes I go right here, where the sternum is, and just put my hand there, close my eyes and ask the guides what color is my frog or which color is my frog and if the frog is yellow or um, very bright blue or red then the frog is toxic so it means that if you your frog is that kind of color um, it just denotes that there is stuff in your life that is toxic to your soul that doesn't quite work and yet because the frog message is that you will just be fine and no matter what life throws at you um, you'll manage just play it by ear okay that was Libra and then finally going into uh, Scorpio last star sign for the week For Scorpios, you have the Sparrowhawk and the Punter. So, the new year starts, remember, this is the first week of January, where we are, we are beginning anew, even though uh, we might not all do it. Um, it certainly always feels like it, because it's a new year, if that makes sense. Um, so, you have the Hawk. Uh, most Hawks use the upthrust of the air to glide. So, um, pay, pay attention to how you pace yourself. Pay attention to your energy. Do not be rushed into anything. anything. But also this week, um, do not hide your feelings. Do not hide your uniqueness. If you are in a situation where you are not fitting in, and I just make this, uh, you know, just as an example, if you go to work and you feel like, I'm not really gelling with my colleagues here, then really it's time for you to manifest a new beginning, a new job, a change and manifest the people that get you for who you are. But hiding this this week will not be very good. Um, but the main message is nonetheless to, to pace yourself right and um, trust that, that, you know, if you start pacing yourself right, if you are slower, in a sense, if you are less um, responsive to um, stress, and to people's demands, things will get much easier. Okie doke. And that's all I got this week. And I see you very soon. Again, welcome to 2018. And we speak very soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.